Hey guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we're going to have a look at conditional statements. So when I say conditional statements, they state a certain condition. And if the condition is not fulfilled, something else needs to happen. So they work along with your operational or your logical conditions from maths. So like for example, A equals to equals to B. This is, this basically means A equals B. All right. So then there's A does not equals to B. Then there's A less than B. Then there's A less than or equal to B. Then there's A greater than B. And there's A greater than or equal to B. Alright, so these are logical operations and what they basically mean is A is equal to B, A does not equal to B, A is less than B. Similarly, you can have A is greater than B. Similarly, you have A is less than or equal to B, A greater than or equal to B and A is greater than B. So your if conditions work with these. So if you write A is equal to 33, B is equal to 200 and you write if A is greater than b you have to write column enter and like i said indentations never forget the indentations all right print print a is greater than b control shift f10 all right so nothing's printing over here so that is because a is not greater than b so let's just change this all right, so control shift F10. All right, so there you can see A is greater than B. So in this, basically, we tried if this is occurring, then print this. So we got to tell the system also what to do if it doesn't do that, right? So in our situation, when we did this, A is greater than B, and we run this code, it didn't run anything. That is because there is nothing else to do. If this is true, then do this. But if it isn't, we didn't say anything. So that is where you write else okay so if a is greater than b print a is greater than b else and then you'll write column print let me just copy this from here else print b is greater than a so control shift f10 and there you go we have b is greater than a this was if and if not then else similarly you have else if so there could be like a third condition right so if a is 33 b is also 33 right and if a is greater than b print this right and if A is not greater than B, it will print this. But in this case, it is equal to. Right? So in this case, what you'll do, we can write ELIF, which is else if A equals to B, print A and B are equal. Got it? So control shift F10 and it runs this. Got it? So in the LF keyword, it's Python's way of saying if the previous condition is not true or the previous conditions were not true, then try this condition. Simple. That's it. Alright, so this was very simple, right? So if you want to write this entire piece of code a little more cleanly, what you can do is you can write it like this. So this is how you write it in a little shorthand. So you write if A greater than B print a is greater than b and run all right so if that doesn't work you can also try else on it so in this case it's not working like this right so let's just see if we change this all right so run this it's equal sorry
run there you go a is greater than b so if you want to do the same thing for with an if else condition what you'll do is you'll write print a is greater than b if a is greater than b else print b is greater than a there you go showing us b is greater than a so if it wasn't like i'll make this 333 and run then you get a is greater than b all right so that was a simple example you can also try an and condition where you can say if something and something along with and so if there is a value c and c is equal to 500 okay so here you can give if a is greater than b and c is greater than a then what it should do so that is also something you can do so print let's just keep it simple and print a else print b control shift f10 there you go it's printing b because both these conditions don't match so if both the conditions don't match it is going to try and check if a is greater than b it checked here and it saw that it isn't then it checked if c is greater than a c is greater than a but this is not matching so it didn't print this which is print a it printed the else condition which is print b now there's another thing called or so if you do if a is greater than b or this so either of this condition gets matched then it will print this otherwise it will print this so let's run this there you go it's printing a because in this case a is not greater than b so this is false but c is greater than a so even if one of these two conditions match it will print this one okay so that's it for conditional statements try these out practice them only then you'll be able to grasp the idea much better all right thank you bye bye